Hello and welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you another small wall painting, and I've sketched it out. It's a little teddy bear sleeping on the moon, and it's a very small one as well. It's around 7.5 centimeters in a square. So after sketching it out, this is the frame I've got. It's a little box frame, so I'm going to try and trace this. So first, I outlined with the marker and still I couldn't see it so I placed it on my window and I traced it I'm um, starting with the blue color that mat was too soft for it so I'm working on my firmer mat and I'm starting with the background as I've been painting for years in watercolors and oil paints and acrylics I always thought that wool painting is it's different and i wanted to try it but after doing one landscape i thought that this sh it should have a 3d element to it because you can build on it as in um, watercolors and other painting materials mediums you can't make 3d shapes you can add texture to acrylics but with will you can do something that pops out of the painting so i'm going to make the teddy bear a little bit 3d in shape so it seems to be coming out so I'm making a flat background and it seems too blue in this video but uh, originally it's kind of sea green after the background is done, I'm using a very light yellow shade for the moon. I'm using a very light one so I can add a little darker yellow just for the shading part on the curve. So I'm using a darker yellow over here. I'm finishing off the moon. I'm using a light grey wool to give it a little outline so it's just a bit more prominent so I'm not using a very dark color for the outline just a light grey one so I don't this is going to be a soft painting for a nursery so it doesn't need any bold colors So I'm using a dark uh, light green instead of dark black. Now for the bear, I'm using a Corydale. It's a carded wool and uh, I think it's called bear. I'm not sure. But this came in the Woodland Animal Pack from World of Wool. So I've rolled some wool and making the head first so i've rolled it first so i get a shape and then i'm going to attach it to the base and this is going to be the muzzle but i think i need to build more on the head first before going on to the muzzle so once it's nice and round it looks kind of 3d I'm adding a little muzzle and roll some more. That is the arm. It's going to make it neat. Going around the edges. And now the hind leg and the back. So I'm adding back first and rolled the wool first before attaching it so i get a 3d shape same with the hind leg so i'm just mixing it up so don't see any 
joints for the ear rolled a tiny bit over and I felt it a bit before dashing it so you can see it's 3D and sticking out of the head and I'm using an orange color for the hat when you're attaching the hat it has to go underneath the ear so it looks like the wearer is wearing the hat and it's not attached right on the top so I've just entered that and very tiny black eyes now eyes were really difficult because trying to make them look shut they're so tiny you know attaching a tiny nose and a little line for the mouth I'm going to work on the eyes with the finest needle I've got and I'm going to give the details to the ear as well so made a little pink dot in the ear now this is the tiny tail attached going on with the outline now we are um, adding some cloud and this is our merino top it's really soft and it's very white so it's perfect for the cloud and I'm just doing it in swirls going around I'm going to give the clouds an outline as well and some shades so just defining the swirl in the clouds So it looks nice and cute. With the clouds done, I'm using a very light mauve color for the stars. And as they have, I have sketched out the star, I'm going to go around the shape. And just to give it definition, I'm using the same shade of grey again going around the star and it looks defined only after I've done the outline because the colors are really light and the shape is rounded star so it doesn't have very, any sharp edges so it's defined with the outline I've done the other star as well and adding a little dark brown color to the bear just giving it a bit of definition to a bit of details very dark orange in the hat just a tiny bit of detail and a little pom pom at the end of the hat so now it's done and hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching